I think, you know, in politics there, there are times when answers don't just don't add up. Uh, and a lot of uh, things that have been said this week about uh, Madame Turmel's positions to me just don't add up. First of all, this is not about switching parties, uh, a subject I know uh, <laughs> a little bit about myself. Uh, you know, if you change parties from one party to another uh, uh, for reasons of principle, uh, I think we all recognize that happens in, in, uh, in politics. Uh, people change their minds uh, about who they're going to vote for and that's, that also happens. Uh, but in the case of Mr. Mel, we have somebody who did not reveal to the public and did not disclose to the public uh, the fact that she was simultaneously, apparently, a member of three political parties uh, over the last five years. And I, I, for me, I just find that incredible. Uh, I find it incredible that she would say that she did it for a friend. Uh, that makes no sense to uh, anybody who's been in politics. Uh, you don't join a separatist party, a party that wants to break up the country uh, for, uh, for five years uh, because you're trying to help somebody out. It just doesn't make any sense. Uh, and uh, I don't think the answers this week have, have added up. And I think that uh, <laughs> we can't afford to have a party in the official opposition that is, uh, that is flaky on some matters that are pretty basic to, uh, to Canadian political life and Canadian public life. Uh, and so I still think there's not only some explaining to do, but I, I just think that this is a real problem now that we're, uh, that we're all uh, having, to face, having to face as we go forward. I mean, I'm just wondering what you would like to see from her. Like, uh, does she need to put distance from herself with Rebecca Solidaire or, or the block? What, what would? Well, obviously, she needs to. I mean, like, look. I mean, she's. <laughs> I don't think there's an explanation that's been forthcoming that makes any sense. Did she discuss this with uh, with other people? Did she discuss this with Mr. Layton when he was the leader? Uh, did she discuss this when she uh, when she signed her form saying that she'd been a member of other parties? Uh, did she disc did anyone in the party say, "Well, wait a minute, uh, what's going on here"? I mean, I, it, this is not about somebody simply changing from one party to another uh, because she insists that she, in fact, was all of these things all at the same time, which under the rules of the NDP, it's not for me to enforce them, it's clearly not supposed to happen. That's not supposed to be the case. So I just don't think that in, in, in the country today, we can afford to have leadership that is flaky about Canada. I just don't think that's the kind of leadership people want or expect in a national political party. So you're not satisfied? She says that she is a federalist through all of this. Are you satisfied with that? Are I don't know how, if, what, what kind of sense, federalism? what kind of federalism is it that leads someone to join two other parties, both of which are committed to the independence of Quebec, the sovereignty of Quebec, in the case of Quebec Solidaire, a socialist Quebec. Like, what, what is she thinking? What is she talking about? That's what I'm saying. These answers don't make sense. If you follow them through, they just don't add up.